Apple jumped into the budget waiting pool last year with the 10R. Now Samsung has dropped the S10e for the same price as the base 10R. Is it poised to blow the 10R out of the water? Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Us Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you want to come back again, you can do all those things. And blah, 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 all that. Uh, if you've been here before, whether it's the second or the, the 1,000th time, thank you so much for being here because it makes my heart go... Blah, 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 blah. The story is a familiar one. Last year, Apple released a new phone with some hobbled specs that plopped it down right in between the previous year's iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus in terms of pricing. It wasn't actually a budget phone at all, considering the price tag of $749 for the base model, but it was the cheapest new iPhone in 2018. Yes, it had only one camera lens, a less than full HD screen, was comprised of aluminum instead of stainless steel bodies like its more expensive stable mates, but I've been using the 10R as my main phone since it launched, and I have to say the compromises in everyday use don't really make a huge difference. They're not really all that noticeable. It is a really good phone. However, <laughs> last week I had the opportunity to go check out Samsung's launch event for their new S10 line and get some hands-on time with the new Galaxy S10 phones, including the Galaxy S10e, Samsung's answer to Apple's $750 phone. Measuring up the two devices on specs alone, the S10e crushes the 10R, but does that mean it will sell big? Does that really make a huge difference? Let's compare first the specs. So for me, here are the big takeaways. The S10e has a smaller screen at 5.8 inches as compared to 6.1 on the 10R. The S10e has a little bit better than 1080p resolution, while the 10R is sitting there at a little bit better than 720p. In actual use, can you see it? much debating. The S10e has dual cameras, 16 megapixel and 12 megapixel wide and ultra wide angles where there's just one wide angle camera, 12 megapixels on the XR. The S10e starts at 128 gigabytes of storage with micro SD expandability up to 512 gigabytes. The 10R starts at 64 gigabytes for that $750. If you want to get 128, you have to go up to 899. The S10e has a headphone jack. The 10R doesn't. On the face of it, the S10e is the better phone all around, or at least the better value. You get more for the same amount of money as you would spend on a 10R. A lot more, actually. So does that mean everyone should jump ship to Samsung? Well, this year's line of S phones makes a compelling argument. The S10e will definitely make people think a few times maybe, before selecting a 10 over over Samsung's competing phone. Typically, it doesn't matter which phone has better specs. People are Apple users or Android users. In my experience, it is rare for people to switch operating systems based on spec sheets. But this direct comparison makes for something a little bit different. I will say, that the S10e wins in a lot of categories that matter to a lot of consumers. A lot of people buy phones concerned mostly with the camera, and the S10e is definitely better specced out compared to the iPhone XR. This is kind of a time will tell question. Maybe the S10e becomes the most popular model of the S10. Maybe it doesn't. The XR, after a slow start, has come to be the most purchased 2018 iPhone thus far. That might be faint praise in a year where iPhone sales and all smartphone sales, to be fair, are down. But right now, the S10e is eating the iPhone XR's lunch on the spec sheet. Will it translate to switching or a shift away from the more budget-friendly iPhones? Based on specs alone, it should, but it's going to be up to the consumer at the end of the day whether they want to make that switch or not. You let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think the S10e is the iPhone 10R killer? Do you think that this is going to bring a lot of people over to Samsung who might otherwise buy the 10R? I'd really like to hear what you have to say down in the comments. Let's have a boisterous discussion. Anyway, 
Thanks so much for being here. Once again, if it was your first time and you want to come back again, then here are the things that you need to do in order to do that. And if you've been here before and you came back for yet another helping of painfully honest tech, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I am out. Hey, you're still here and you haven't left yet and you maybe you want to watch another video. There are a couple of videos here that I suggest that maybe you want to check out. Also, hit me on the social medias over there and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'd love to have you back again sometime soon. Thank you so much for being here.